there's like all these people who like made it more accessible. And then as a result of that, there's more black punks and it, it's really cool, so. Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Accolades Conversation Series, in which I talk to some of my favorite artists about who or what they would recommend me checking out. Make sure to subscribe to our channel or hit the like button. This episode is again in collaboration with Sonic City Festival, a three-day curated festival in Kortrijk, Belgium, from the 11th till the 13th of November, organized by Welde Westen. This year's edition is curated by Low, Black Country, New Road, and Gilla Band. Some other bands already added to the lineup are Goat, Dry Cleaning, Coco Co, and Le Fille Dile Gedat. Check out the full lineup on soniccity.be. Divide and Dissolve is an instrumental doom metal band based in Melbourne, Australia. While the band's songs are primarily instrumental, their song titles are often highly political, and in interviews they have referenced their wish for their music to decolonizing, decentralizing, disestablishing, and destroying white supremacy. Following two albums released by Australian record label Daryl Arcade, the band's third album, Gaslit, was released on vinyl and CD by English-based Invala Records in 2021, following a digital release in 2020. The album was produced by Unknown Mortal Orchestra's Ruben Nielsen. I spoke to Takaya Reed, saxophonist and guitarist in Divide and Dissolve, about Osa Ato, an artist, teacher and ceramicist operating pottery by Osa, producing small batch handmade ceramics. Currently residing in Sarasota, Florida, previously she primarily made shotgun seamstress, a zine came out of the experience of being the only blackhead at punk shows. It was a cut and paste fanzine she started in 2006 when she was living in Portland, Oregon. The first six issues were published as a book that is now out of print. A second edition of the book, including all eight issues plus additional material, is coming in 2022. If you are into my illustrations, this accolade series started as an illustration book, which you can still get on CrateRecords.be. This is what Takaya had to say. I would like to give accolades to Osa Toy. She's a multi-dimensional artist and she's like a huge part of the reason why I play music. And she also is like this like really great uh, pottery artist. Yeah, I just, I really appreciate her work so deeply and so profoundly. And she's had a huge impact in so many people's lives. She's also written a, a bunch of zines and her zines are, are getting turned into a book and uh, her zines, are about black punks. It's called Shotgun Seamstress. And yeah, I kind of, I just really admire her and how she like goes about living her life. She plays punk, uh, she plays violin and bass. The, a band that she was a part of that a lot of people know is called New Bloods. Oh, she also sings. She's such a wonderful person. Yeah, I'm always feeling inspired by her. Is there, a, is there any like specific song that would be a start to her music? Well, I guess in New Bloods, there's a song called Doubles that's really good. She's been in a bunch of other bands though. Also her pottery is incredible. That's a great place to start mm. with her and her, her zine series, Shotgun Seamstress, is also a, another amazing beginning. Her ideology around punk and community and just being in harmony with the earth and being close to the water and like just loving yourself and, and the blackness. It's, it's really, she's really inspiring. <laughs> And how do I need to picture the, the black punk community in the States? As it's something much bigger because of her writing her zines and like other people as well, like James Spooner and like Brontes, Purnell. There's like all these people who like made it more accessible. And then as a result of that, there's more black punks and it, it's really cool. So. I want to thank my guest Takaya from Divide and Dissolve for this conversation. Check out Divide and Dissolve on Sonic City this year. Next time I'm having another conversation with a Sonic City act. Glasgow's band's Comfort. I'm talking to Nat about her love for Audrey Lord. Thanks for listening. <laughs>